today we are going to conduct the open circuit and short circuit tests on a single phase transformer first we can see the nameplate details of a single phase transformer voltage rating of a transformer is 115 volts by 230 volts it means rated voltage across the LV winding terminals is 115 volts and the rated voltage across HV winding terminals is 230 volts and the capacity rating of the transformer is 1 kVA rated current through the LV winding is equal to uh, 8.7 amperes and the rated current through the HV winding is 4.35 amperes now we can see the circuit diagram of a open circuit test on a single phase transformer uh, and we are going to perform the open circuit test on LV side means uh, uh, on LV side we are going to connect the voltmeter voltmeter ammeter and wattmeters and we are going to apply the uh, voltage across the LV winding uh, LV winding terminals means by using the auto transformer we can give the supply to the LV winding terminals of the transformer by auto transformer having a auto transformer having four terminals two are input terminals and two are output terminals and in between two input terminals we are going to give the fixed voltage that is a single phase ac 230 volts 50 hz supply and uh, output terminals of auto transformer are connected to the lv winding through the voltmeter ammeter and wattmeters we can vary the output voltage of auto transformer to zero uh, from 0 to 270 volts by varying the variable point in the auto transformer and we can set the 115 volts rated voltage across the lv winding 115 volts supply by adjusting the variable point in the auto transformer and uh, this uh, phase of the output of auto transformer is connected to the ammeter one terminal and ammeter another terminal is connected to the voltmeter one terminal as well as a uh, uh, m terminal in the wattmeter in the wattmeter having a uh, one current coil and one pressure coil and uh, uh, in between M and L, we, uh, there is a current coil and in between C and V, there is a pressure coil and uh, we have to short this M point and C point and uh, we have to connect uh, this L to the one terminal of the uh, one, one terminal in the LV winding voltage coil that is 150 volts coil uh, we have to connect this to another terminal in the LV winding and we have to connect uh, this LV another another terminal in the LV winding to secondary terminal in the voltmeter and the secondary terminal of voltmeter has to be connected to the uh, neutral of the auto transformer and we have connected we have connected one more voltmeter across the secondary side that is HV winding terminals side we have connected 0 to 300 volts moving iron type voltmeter the purpose of this voltmeter is to measure the uh, voltage across the high voltage winding side when uh, HV winding terminals are opened and uh, LV winding terminals are excited with the 115 volts by using this circuit diagram we can uh, conduct the experiment this is our uh, uh, two winding auto transformer this side is a uh, two 115 volts this is 115 volts and uh, here it is uh, 230 volts in 115 volts side we are conducting the experiment and we can see this uh, auto transformer auto transformer ammeter voltmeter and watt meters okay and uh, if we see here if we see here uh, this is the auto transformer input here we are we, we are going to give the 230 volts uh, supply and this is the output terminals of the auto transformer and this is the variable point if we adjust this variable point uh, this knob we can get uh, in between 0 to 270 volts that we can see 0 
20 40 like this based on this adjustment we can set up to 270 volts we can get up to 270 volts now this uh, auto transformer is in the minimum uh, output voltage position and this is the phase and this is neutral we are going to take and this phase is connected to the ammeter common terminal uh, 0 to 1 ampere or we can choose 0 to 2 amperes here we have chosen 0 to 1 ampere moving iron type uh, uh, ammeter uh, this phase of auto output output phase of auto transformer is connected to the ammeter common terminal and uh, ammeter secondary terminal is connected to the there are two wires we have taken from the ammeter second terminal one is connected to the voltmeter one terminal and another is connected to the wattmeter m terminal if we see here we can see wattmeter m terminal m terminal m terminal and uh, wattmeter l is connected to the wattmeter l is connected to the uh, wattmeter l wattmeter l this one is wattmeter l wattmeter l l terminal is connected to the uh, two winding transformer uh, phase terminal and uh, in the uh, wattmeter between m and common there is a short circuit we have connected here by using this uh, wire we have done short circuit in between m and c and uh, in between c and v we have a pressure coil and v is connected to the neutral of the uh, lv winding and uh, same volt term uh, v terminal in the wattmeter is connected to the uh, another terminal in the voltmeter voltmeter secondary terminal is connected to the auto transformer neutral this is this with this primary is completed and in the secondary side in the secondary side we have in the secondary side that is a 230 volt side that is hv side we have connected a uh, one voltmeter across actually it is a uh, open circuit terminals across this uh, open circuit terminals we have connected one voltmeter to measure the induced voltage in the uh, hv side first we are going to switch on the uh, ac supply and we are going to give the 230 volts to the auto transformer input and from the by adjusting the auto transformer output uh, at starting this auto transformer output should be in the minimum volt uh, position and then by adjusting the auto transformer output we have to set the rated voltage across the uh, lv winding terminals and we know lv winding terminals rated voltage across lv winding terminal is 115 volts by adjusting the auto transformer output we can uh, we can set the rated voltage 115 volts across the lv winding terminals at that time we have to note down the current reading and wattmeter reading here here ammeter is showing 0 0.58 amperes and wattmeter is showing uh, uh, 30 watts voltmeter reading across the hv winding terminals that is secondary side terminals uh, is giving 228 volts after taking the values we have to reduce the auto transformer output to 0 volts and then we have to switch off the uh, supply as we know open circuit test is performed on lv side and the purpose of open circuit test is to find the uh, rated core loss in the transformer that is the sum of rated eddy current and uh, hysteresis power loss and also to find the two parameters of the equivalent circuit that is magnetizing reactance and core loss resistance and here we have written the observation tabular form in that uh, voltmeter reading ammeter reading and wattmeter readings are mentioned here calculations are given for uh, finding the rated core loss in the transformer as well as for uh, finding the two parameters of the equivalent circuit that is magnetizing reactance and uh, core loss uh, resistance 
you can go through these uh, calculations now we are going to conduct the short circuit test on a single phase transformer here we are going to conduct the we are going to perform the experiment on hv side and lv side should be uh, shorted uh, we know how to connect the circuit by seeing the circuit diagram here we are using 0 to 5 amperes moving iron type ammeter 0 to 50 volts moving iron type voltmeter and 150 volts 5 amperes unity power factor wattmeter and in secondary side we are going to conduct the 0 to 10 amperes uh, moving iron type uh, ammeter and uh, by adjusting this arter transformer we have to apply the rated current in the windings then we have to note down the voltmeter and wattmeter readings and check whether the current through the short circuit of lv winding is a rated current or not we have to switch on the uh, ac supply then by adjusting this auto transformer output uh, we have to see the ammeter reading which is connected in the HV winding terminals. Now we have adjusted the uh, current through the HV winding terminal is uh, 4.35 amperes by using the auto transformer. Then we have to note down the voltmeter uh, reading and um, wattmeter readings. Here voltmeter is giving 16.2 volts. And, uh, here it is showing in the wattmeter here first we have to see the uh, current coils are connected in parallel I mean B1 E2 and B2 E1 are connected and uh, 150 volts 150 volts coil is pressure coil is connected so uh, we have to see the multiplication factor uh, here if we see the multiplication factor for 5 amps and 150 volts it should be multiplication factor will be 2 so we have to multiply the 2 with for the reading so now it is showing 1 2 3 30 30 into multiplication factor 2 it will be 60 watts and uh, the, uh, if we see the lv winding terminals lv winding terminals are shorted and this shorted current short circuited current can be measured by using the ammeter this ammeter reading showing approximately rated current 8.6 amperes it is showing okay. we have performed the short circuit test on a high voltage winding side aim is to find the rated copper loss or rated ohmic loss in the transformer and also to find the four parameters of the equivalent circuit that is high voltage winding resistance high voltage winding leakage reactance low voltage winding resistance and the low voltage winding leakage reactance here observation values are given and also calculations are given here you can go through these calculations now we can see the equivalent circuit diagram of a single phase uh, transformer having uh, six parameters written with the red color